Hey guys, how's it going? Selfa Lockpicker here, and welcome back to this week's Locksport update. If you have any updates you'd like to see shared next week, as always, please drop them in the comment section below, and I'd love to share them next week. I'd like to first start off this week's update by going over some pretty cool news. On Reddit r slash lockpicking on their Discord channel, there was an announcement recently that there are two new black belts. The first Discord channel name is Nothing, and the second one is Decoder. That is just so cool to see there being more black belts, and it is really cool just to see all of the cool locks people are starting to get into. I just want to say congratulations to Nothing, and a big congratulations to Decoder as well. So last week, I did not get much left in the comments section as far as updates go, so I do not really have much to share this week. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to share a couple of smaller channels that you may already know, but I'd like to share them so you can check them out and see what they are all about. So the first channel I'm going to mention this week goes by Phil Dixon Locks. Phil Dixon Locks has been pretty active in the comment section of my videos, and he's been telling me a lot about his experience with the Kronos pick. He has had some really good luck with it, and he's given me a few pointers. And what I'm going to do is share a quick video of him opening up an Avis Titanium using the Kronos. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and uh, taking the time to view my videos. Uh, there's been a lot of videos recently with the multi-pick Kronos tool. And there's a lot of videos that show you opening a master number three, plastic see-through so-called training locks. I know that a lot of pickers are passionate about single pin picking. Um, I am myself, but I also love this tool also um you never really see high security locks or anything like that but being picked with one of these these straight out the box are quite difficult to use and you have to use a lot of practice and it does take a lot of time there you go Thank you for checking out Phil Dixon Locks. If you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more content by him, what I'm going to do is put a link on the top here so you can check him out and consider subscribing. And I just want to say that was pretty cool seeing you get that Avis Titanium open. The next thing that I'm going to share is going to be the channel that goes by Lock Stock Bob. Lock Stock Bob is a smaller channel. What I'm going to do is share with you his very first video. Going to start my lock picking journey today. Very first lock to try. Let's see how I do. Huh, voila, it's done. Thank you so much for checking out Lockstock Bob. If you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more content by him, what I'm going to do is put a link on the top here so you can check him out and consider subscribing. And the final channel I'm going to mention this week goes by Do Not Duplicate. What I'm going to do is share a clip of him opening up an EVA 3KS with false gates. That is a pretty cool lock to see someone pick. And what I'm going to do is roll that for you right now. Thank you so much for checking out Do Not Duplicate. If you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more content by him, what I'm going to do is put a link up here so you can check him out and consider subscribing. It's always cool to see channels that are opening up really cool technical locks. It is not something that everyone can do and it's really cool to watch people work on them. But either way guys, this is all that I have for you this week. This has been a really brief lock support update. I was really happy to share three cool channels with you. 
and share with you the two new black belts on the Discord server. That is really cool to see the community growing as a whole and seeing everyone push themselves to open up more challenging logs. It is just amazing to see how much the community has grown in just over the last one to two years and just seeing how much people are starting to push themselves. I think the karate belt system on Reddit has been really cool and it has been a great tool to just motivate people to have fun and always be up for the challenge. But either way, guys, this is all that I have for you this week. If you have anything that you would like to see shared next week, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below as well. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking this out, and I hope you all have a great day, and I cannot wait to see you next week in the next Locksport update.